Welcome back, you guys! This is the Syndra. Continuing my Hoi 4 Kaiserite campaign as the Union of Britain. Am I saying that right? I think it is. Yes, the Union of Britain. So, we just sort of got our uh, feet wet just a little bit in the last episode. We're sort of getting a, a feel for the, some of the changes, uh, just sort of catching up and sort of reading through what's unique about Britain in this patch or maybe it hasn't changed at all i'm not entirely sure but it seems like this trade union thing is going to take 140 days and i've been looking over some of these things here it's a lot of mutually exclusive stuff like you have to pick a naval plan you have to pick a military plan and then it seems you have you have autonomists and feder federationists and then you got federationist and maximist so if you go federation you can pick either one of these and I was sort of looking over th through this. So right now we have home rule. It means Nicholas Y. Glaze. Which one is he a charge of? Uh, he's in charge of the Autumnists. Okay. So this is the Autumnist path. Status quo is Arthur Horner, Annie Kenny, and Thomas Mann. Horner, Annie, and Thomas. Uh, no. I don't really care about the Pope, I'm sorry. Uh, Dundas, Sarah Murphy, Max Cockburn, Francis Murphy. Uh, the, the war between Afghanistan and the Entente ended like it always does. I mean, I'm not that surprised. Am I just blind here? Why can't I not see this? We've got two Cockburns over here. Charles and Max Cockburn. Am I just fucking blind here? Arthur Horner. Arthur Annie Thomas. Uh, yeah, I don't see them. Maybe they're just new options then. Like some of the parties get new leadership. But it seems like status quo means basically nothing changes. Yeah, this is, uh, was it Romania? I think it was Romania that is getting rid of their demilitarized zone. Uh, the Syndicalist Order has withstood an onslaught of political challenges, but has held firm. Britain shall keep its course and continue to boldly and unapologetically champion the cause of the worker and the revolution above all else. So I'm guessing this basically means we stay as Congregationalists. So I'm okay with that-ish. Um, can I take... Yeah, early mobilization. Oh, come on. Wait, what? I can take ahead of military intelligence? Well, let's not do that. That's a that's a waste. We don't need that that early. So this would mean I keep my current party. And then I would have to choose between Arthur, Annie, and Thomas. Okay, that's interesting. So for the new leader of the party, I suppose. And this one is Oswald Mosley. I think that's the Maximist. Yeah, so it's Maximist, Autonomists, or we stay as we are. So it seems like you cannot really go for other things here. You can basically take the same shade of... Uh, a different shade of red. The first International Congress. What's happening to our stuff here? I'm guessing the bigger ships are now getting built. Yeah, the faster battleships are getting built. So... They're demanding more stuff. Um, I've got 14 factories, so yeah, I'm fine with giving you a little bit of extra. No, we don't need that much. Oh, yes, we do. This is oil. This is chromium. Okay. So we've got 12 factories working on that. Well, I'm, intri I'm intrigued. Maximist, Autonomist, Autonomist. Let's see, what do we get here? Um... Political commissars, reinforce raid, blah blah blah, political power, change the popularity of totalists, reinforce rate, recovery rates, and supply consumption. Those are pretty weak bonuses, I gotta say. 5% each, that's not that great. United Britain, we get war support. Uh, okay, that's, that's fine. Oswald Mosley will become General Secretary and Grand Protector of the Union of Britain. Okay, then we get Revolution. Oh, it removes national spirit militias. I don't like the militias. I don't like my 
penalty there to division organization. If there's not another way to get rid of this, get rid of the militias. Let's see here. Uh, the third international. The France has gone through with its designs to hold the first congress of the third international, and we, as expected, have received an invitation. It would be foolish not to send a delegation. Well, we can send Horner, it's fine. Just take a look at it. Uh, so this one is just political power, and this is space stability. So that's kind of boring, to be honest. Which British city will host the Spartica? That's like the uh, syndicalist version of the Olympics, right? They get infrastructure. Uh, let's see here. If I do construction in this... So London does not have any resources. But then again, did they change that? No, it doesn't. They didn't change that at all. So if I increase infrastructure, the resources don't change at all. So I'm just going to take London and cap it out. Right? There's no infrastructure for London, is there? This is not London. And this is the only infrastructure one I can see. So yeah, I'll just take London and have it be a 10 then. Ooh. And we got a free military factory. Uh, right, 200, 220. Let's get one more tank. Okay, so... Yeah, this one was kind of boring. Uh, the second Well Creek has been won. Okay, so we basically get stuck on this until the Well Creek is done. Okay. What is this? Uh, Joachim Ascado. I'm not even going to try that. Let's just call him Joachim. Has taken the stage and elaborated the position of the CNT in Spain for the Congress. The CNT is the largest syndicalist party in Spain made up of anarcho-syndicalists. Moderate syndicalists and trade unionists. The Spanish revolutionaries have been seen, have seen. Wait, what? The Spanish revolutionaries have been seen. I think it's supposed to be have seen the White Terror. Violent counter-revolutionary actions taken against the workers firsthand. They have come asking for support for their cause when the moment arrives. Yes, let's. Yeah, let's help them out. That's fine. Uh, I'm continuing to read through this. Really? Oh, see, this is everybody asking for help. This is this is uh, Jack Reed in the CSA here. American journalist, poet, and syndicalist activist John Jack Reed spoke to the Congress for an hour and 15 minutes about the crisis facing the United States and the chance for revolution in the Western Hemisphere. In the South, the American First Committee is stronger than the central government, and the North is suffering from a depression as the West Coast prospers. If the United States were to crumble in the face of a revolution, then the exiles would be paralyzed. Yes, let's pledge our support for this. So I'm not going to worry about this right now. So what do we get from Home Rule? Daily political power gain, that's boring. Wales and Scotland will become independent. What? I would lose Scotland and Wales? Uh, yesterday, Helen Crawford took the stage with her flaming speech about the women's role in the World Revolution. According to her arguments, without women's participation in industry and armed forces, it may be impossible to defeat the many enemies of the proletariat. Tempting as it may seem, the political climate in Britain is not ready for such decision. We need to wait for the Congress of Trade Unions in the fall to force the matter. Okay, we get some stability there. Move capital to West Midlands. Wales and Scotland will become puppets once the devolution is complete. So Wales and Scotland will become independent. So I'm not interested in that at all. Uh, the White Terror. We heard Joachim speak of White Terror horror stories that have been coming out of Madrid and Barcelona. And Kurt Eisner, Bavarian socialist, wanted to delve deeper into the topic of White Terror and he was given the floor. After hearing more stories that have come out of Germany, Austria, Hungary, Russia, and Finland, the Congress members were ready to make their decision. Yeah, we will... Uh, another reason we must end the capitalist system of murder and robbery. So this path over here, home rule, I'm not interested in, in that at all. 
we would get Welsh and Scotland either as like independent or we could have them as our uh, puppets. We could go down this path which doesn't really give us that much. And the Bracha commune ask for support. The Bracha commune ask for support in their struggle against its neighbors, Delhi and the Princely Federation. They would like us to send military advisors to train their leaders and their troops. We lose some political power. But yeah, let's try to make uh, them stronger. I'm actually kind of liking the status quo right now. Like this one here removes militias. I would really like to remove militias though. I kind of would like to remove that. But Oswald Mosley, he was the Maximist, wasn't he? So I would be forced to go down this route over here. Production efficiency cap, construction speed, infrastructure, that's boring. Replaced with militarized to mobilized. Uh, factory output, 10%. Military factories, military factories. Yeah, but if we go down uh, Federationist, that is the middle, we can grab both of these. Local initiative. Come on, stop loading. Um, output by five. Ooh, output by another five. Efficiency cap. I like production efficiency cap quite a lot. And the common land. Monthly population. Resource gain efficiency. So that's kind of that's a kind of a shitty one, to be honest. Um but yeah, in order to go down this path, we would have to go autonomist or federationists. I'm thinking we go federationist. Yeah. We just go status quo and we continue as is. And we stay as fed Federationists or Congregationists. They're kind of both. So maybe we have to branch out more once we pick status quo? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, low manpower. We did train up our uh, militias, didn't we? We got three more to go. Once that is done, we do have a decent defense army. I'm going to take the rest of this now that we have the people. It requires 16 divisions to defend all of my land. That's fine. We'll do a bit over. We'll go 24. And then we might have to tweak the militias a bit. Or just replace them with like proper troops. Uh, I think I will also tell them to drill. I think I'll tell all of you to drill. I need, I need to get some... Uh, Actually, wait, you have tanks and shit, so don't, you guys don't train. You guys go ahead and drill. That way I only use, lose uh, infantry weapons. So, this is done. Today, the Trade Union Congress of 1936 has begun. The various factions of the Congress have sent their delegates and their leaders to London to argue their, for their position. We shall see what shall happen. Trench warfare also finished. Ooh, okay. Let's continue down this path. And you were doing this. I want as much output as possible. So I think I will take just concentrated. Uh, so I cannot take another one right now. We have to wait until the Congress is over. Okay, that's fine then. We can get a lot of political power in the meanwhile. Yeah, a lot of it actually. Uh, speed 4? Maybe? Yeah, speed 4. Oh, never mind. Economic policy vote. Um, so we have to go Maximist, Autonomist, or Federationists. I'm thinking we go down the middle and go Federationist. The debate has wandered into the area of economics. As has been predicted, every faction has put forward their own suggestions. Most people assume that the Maximists will win this debate, once, since Oswald Mosley is a major figure in the British economy these days. Concentrated, concentrated is here. Dispersed is here. Oh, really? Huh. Well, it doesn't matter. If we go central, we can still go down this path. So... So... This is syndicalist, this is totalist, and this is radical socialists. So... We have... Radical Socialist, that's the Maximus, that's the Autonomous there. Yeah, we'll just go down the middle. And we get some 
popularity there. So we have to wait until it's over, but we can take which one, whichever one we want. And I'm gonna go for concentrated, and then we go down this path. So we will not go here. All right. Or does it matter? The internal policy vote. Uh, the debate has wandered into the area of internal politics. As has been predicted, every faction has put forward their own suggestions. The outcome is unsure, since it's here that the real decision for the future of the Union will be made. The current system is satisfactory, so that means we stay here. Maximist, autonomist, no. We were going to go, the current system is satisfactory. Yeah. So Britain within the International, so we have to wait for this to be over. Class warfare support foreign comrades. American, Mexican, further cooperation. Indian comrades. Australasian comrades. Ooh, we can help Australia? Military policy vote. Um, so this is the Maximists, and this is the Autonomists. I don't get any research boosts for anything in particular, but this is how I remove militias. Remove national spirit militias. It requires one of the following. Okay, so it doesn't really matter which I go for. A new Lee Enfield? That's basically a new weapon, I suppose. Replace militias with reform militias. Uh, planning speed organization 10. Wait. Organization 10, planning speed 25. Ah, so it cuts it in half. I would kind of just like to get rid of them, to be honest. Tank research. Support artillery superior firepower. Really? You're gonna... Ah, you're gonna limit me to that, are you? So we either go mobile warfare or we go superior fire. But it's only one boost of 25%. I'm fine with wasting that. I'm absolutely fine with that. Uh, division organization 10%. Leader experience gain. Huh. Requires one of the following. Dissolve or reform the militias. So, if I go here, I can still take this. Huh. Um... I'm thinking we just go for the Federationist, because that keeps both options available to me. So, yeah. They're up to 66 right now. So that's good. That's very, very good. But the Congress should be over. I spent 140 days doing the Congress, and now we're doing the decisions? Wouldn't it be better to do the decisions as the event, as the, uh, the focus is getting done? Wouldn't that have been better? The resignation of Philip Snowden. On the last day of the trade union... Congress, Chairman Philip Snowden climbed up to the podium and made a speech. He claimed that in face of massive rifts within the TUC, and due to his age, he intends to resign his post. He also pulled out the cliché time with the family bit that all politicians do. The congregation stood silent as he climbed down from the podium and made his way out of the hall. The country is shocked, and in a few days' time, the TUC will have to vote on a new chairman. Chairman, that is. And I keep losing political focus, uh, political power. So Arthur Horner, Annie Kenny, and Thomas Mann. Uh, we'll have to see. We shall see what we go for. I'm going to weigh them up. Uh, let's see here. We got Kenny and we got Horner. The TUC has decided to vote for Arthur Horner's Federationists and Annie Kenny's Congregationists with an overwhelming majority. The two running mates will now have to decide who will become the new chairman or chairwoman of the TUC. Uh, Philip Snowden retires. Feds cons... Yeah, that's already the ruling party. Public elections will not be held. Annie Kenny becomes leader of the Simplest. Uh-huh. Comrade Horner. If I can take a look at them here. This is going to be the head of government. So we have Annie Kenny. Uh, this is not f -bow. This is her. Daily political power gain is going to be negative, but it gives me stability and war support. 
Flamboyant tough guy. Really? All right. And then we have Arthur Horner. This is Arthur Greenwood. Arthur Horner. Uh, where the where is he? There he is. Factory output. Oh baby. Yeah, I think I like that more. So yeah, let's go for Horner. And now we can do focuses. Arthur Horner. What? Why is what? No! Why is Annie Kenny there? Fuck you! Why can't I? Oh man, that's not what I wanted. I wanted him to be head of government. What the fuck is going on? That is so weird. Why would I choose him and then not get him as my head of government? I mean, it's not bad, but it's not what I wanted. Ah, this is annoying, but okay, we can start doing uh, some things right now. So this is going to get political power, and then we get stability. I don't think we need this. I don't think we need this right now. I kind of want to go down the industry right now. And I kind of want to go down concentrated, just so I can get that bonus there. We lose out on a bit of production cap. But we get some... I can't really justify this, can I? In order to take this, I have to go down the right path. Production efficiency cap, another 5% here. Okay, so I get cap, but this is 10% and this is 5%. You know what? It's fine. We'll go down central industry research. Fine. Fine, we'll do that. Uh, okay, so I think like the like the beginning part is kind of over. We've chosen our government. We're still in toaster economy. And everything here is available to me. I can go whichever way I want to. So an Anglo-Norwegian cooperation. So Norway has to be totalist, syndicalist, or radical socialist. And they would get six factories. Anglo-Irish... Ireland, okay, we can show a force and then try to get Ireland on our side. Blood, toil, tears, and sweat. We need to be at war for this to be available, okay. Okay. Well, I always go down the industry path first, because you need to get that started. You need, the sooner you can get the industry rolling, the better. Um, let's see, we do have... Malicious giving us an extra 2% there of manpower. I don't know why it's red, though. Why is it red? It's supposed to be green. It, it's a positive. It's above 100%. Okay. And Kenny is actually taking away some political power from us. I don't like that. If we can get more party popularity, we could get a bit more political power. I think it's an interval of like 0.05, so I need to get up to 70% to get more. But if we can keep getting more political power, that would be quite nice. I mean, uh, party popularity. But this path down here gets us nothing. Um, yeah, I don't want to read that. But I'm kind of upset that Annie Kenny took control of head of government. That kind of annoys me. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm not upset. So, France, you're on the road to war already. And you're doing a Christian trade union? Okay. So, that's fine. So we take a look at what the world is up to. Preparing the liberation. Battleship development. That's what America is doing. They're focusing on battleships. So we got construction done. Do we need excavation? How many? How much resources do we have? Like we're doing eight, uh, six, thirty-two, twenty-eight. We got a lot of steel. That is a huge amount of steel. We could actually benefit from getting this, but we have ninety-four steel in surplus, so we don't need it now. So let's not. Uh, it is still nineteen thirty-six. Damn, I'm slow. 
Uh, let's get this one, just unlock them. We can try to keep up with that. And... Let's see here, you got 65 divisions. You got fuck all manpower, but you are France. You should get a lot of manpower later. Once um, we do some things here. Inefficient intelligence. They're not stupid, they're just inefficient. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's put it on speed 5 and sort of try to uh, get some momentum going here. And you guys... I can actually give you something here. Panzer Expert. Combined Arms. I do like Combined Arms because the Motorized and Mechanized have fuck all defenses. But the Panzer... Wallonia joined the Reichspark. Okay. And this increases the Armor's Defense. The Armor's Defense is already good. So I'm going to take Combined Arms. So later on you can probably be useful. Uh, syndicalists achieve majority in Italy. So what are they right now? They're syndicalists. Syndicalist. A syndicalist. We're all united in the same shade of red. Central industry research is done. So this one I'm probably just going to skip. Like, the value of infrastructure in Kaiserreich is not as good as it is in the base game, which is just weird to me. So this will get us construction technology boost and some factories. More factories, more factories. Now, I'm gonna go for this. Give me more stuff. Okay. We have built more factories. That's good. Um... Let's keep getting some planes. We need to get some planes in the air. Or we actually don't have enough rubber. Fuck. Well, what do we do then? I suppose we go for more artillery then. And our army experience is very, very slowly going up. But, um... Modified government again. I need a hundred. Come on, I need to get out of toaster economy. Consumer goods factories is 35%. This is only 5 extra percent? Ah, lame. Very, very lame. We need to get to here. That's 20. Yeah. We go from 35 to 20 consumer goods factories. Uh, Valonia seems to be having some issues here. Yeah. Flanders has capitulated. Really? So, mechanical computing is done. Uh, I don't need this, but I usually go for it because it's a nice thing to have when I go to war. I think... Hmm... Do we just go for that? I mean, we could unlock some marines early on. Because I'm kind of be... I'm going to be kind of... Naval focus, or we could, yeah, let's just grab the tank, it's fine. We, 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 we can grab the tank and then upgrade it because we already have some tanks. Indochina declares independence. Well, they usually win, but I think their numbers got nerfed, like since the last time I, uh, I think it was actually the last pass they got nerfed because they used to have like 40 or 50 divisions. Now it's a bit more even. Who is this guy? Helmuth Von Muk. Okay. So Flanders is in control of this place here. Okay, but you guys have not joined a faction. Oh well. So we're not even done with the first year yet. This is what I kind of missed about the Kaiserreich. It is a very slow game at the start. Very methodical, and then once you get to the later stages, you can sort of run through years. Because you're going to be at war by then. But let's go ahead and pause it here, shall we? So, we have decided to go down the status quo path. Uh, we've decided to keep the, the Federationist uh, wing of the TUC. For some reason, we got stuck with Annie Kenny as the head of government. I, I mean, we get stability and war support out of it, so it's not wasted, but I would have liked Arthur Horner. I would have liked his um, output, his factory output there. 
I would have been fine with having Kenny like be the leader if I had if I that means I could have had Horner be the head of government. But I can't actually change the head of government. That is the only position you can't like change from here. You have to do it through events. Which kinda upsets me, but it's fine. It's fine. So I will see you guys in the next episode, whenever that may be. But until then, see ya. And thanks for watching.